Hey guys, before we get to the video, for more tips and tricks in the heating and air industry, please click that subscribe button. Thank you. Hey guys, Josh with Griffin Air and the new HVAC guide. Wanted to do a video talking a little bit about dual fuel systems because I think there's some information out there and different ways of explaining it, but I'm gonna keep it really easy because I think if you are looking at doing a heating and air system, there's times when it does make sense to do a dual fuel system and there's other times when maybe it doesn't. First of all, what is dual fuel? If you're watching this video and you're not quite sure, I'm gonna run through that really quick. Essentially, if we're talking about a system that is not dual fuel, so if we have a what we call a one heat, one cool system, meaning your heat might be a furnace, your outdoor unit is a straight AC, and it's gonna be one or the other, okay? That would not be a dual fuel. That's a one heat, one cool. With a dual fuel system, all we're gonna do, it's not that complicated. People try to make it sound like it more than it is. All we're gonna do with the one-to-one -one system is we're gonna eliminate that outdoor unit straight AC and we're gonna put in a heat pump. That's it. It's no more complicated than that. And all that means is on milder days when you need heat, that heat pump, instead of burning gas, is going to provide you heat. And then as it gets colder and colder, most systems have a set point that it will then burn gas, okay? Or if you turn your emergency switch on your thermostat, it will burn gas, okay? So that's all a dual fuel system is. I've heard people try to make it more than it is. It's as simple as that. Now, why does any of that matter? I would say in most cases, most of our customers, if they have natural gas, they have a less expensive utility bill, they're not usually as open to spending the money to getting a dual fuel system. Now, does a dual fuel system cost more? Yes, they, a heat pump typically is going to cost more than a straight AC outdoor unit. And you have to install some sort of system that can control that unit. Meaning in the old days, we had the dual fuel kits that you would install on the system. And these days, a lot of the smart thermosets do it for you. So you just have an outdoor temperature sensor or it can do it through the internet. I believe the sensor is more reliable. The thermostat will decide based on what you set it up for on how it will operate with that dual fuel system. So again, if you have natural gas, a lot of our customers they don't, have, they don't even bother with dual fuel. The extra money they would spend, it doesn't make sense, and natural gas is not that expensive. However, we have seen fluctuating prices and at times even extreme prices when it comes to propane, and a lot of those customers look very closely at dual fuel. In fact, I can only think of one of our customers off the top of my head within the last year that decided to just do a one heat, one cool deal. So ultimately, I would say if you have Natural gas, by rule, typically may not make sense to go dual fuel. And if you have propane, by rule, typically, it makes a whole lot of sense to go ahead and spend the extra money and go dual fuel. So I hope that helps. If you're comparing systems and you're not quite sure, if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Please hit that subscribe button and thanks for watching. The last thing I'll say is if you're in the market for a new heating and air system and you're in Virginia in the Middle Peninsula or the Northern Neck, Give Griffin Air a call. We'll give you a free estimate and the best warranty in the area. But if you're not in our coverage area, check out my new website. I've even got a little banner up here, newhvacguide.com. Check out that site because we've put so much information on there. It's as if I wrote a book telling folks, hey, here's the good and the bad avoid this or that. I've even got a whole page called no-nos, things to stay away from. And so before you spend thousands, check out that website. And finally, for more tips and tricks in the heating and air industry, click that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.